Tara, you can see that southbound lanes of Woodward closed behind me. The city is asking local artists to help high school students create a street mural in honor of Juneteenth. The mural will stretch from Larned to Congress, and the message is one of strength and resilience. Now, there's another mural near the Hamtramck and Detroit border. It is already completed, but it will be officially unveiled on Juneteenth. It's telling another story, a powerful but painful one. I spoke with the artists. She says it's one she's never created quite like this one before. Really, the wall itself is Malice Green as a monument, but it's paying tribute to all that we could fit onto the wall. They're names of black and brown people killed by police. Muralist Sydney James says there's around a thousand. I painted that that piece, that wall, with my full heart and soul, like every bit of me. Like I had to make it look beautiful because it's so ugly. Malice Green is holding the scroll. In 1992, Green was killed by two white Detroit police officers. The original Malice Green mural by Benny White was demolished several years ago. This one is on Hamilton near Puritan Street. It kind of came through me, but it's not mine. It belongs to like everybody who views it. Floral installations around Detroit are also paying tribute to victims of police brutality. Botanical artist Lisa Wad's six-part series started as a way to support local flower farmers impacted by COVID-19 as weddings and big events were canceled. But following the killing of George Floyd, she shifted her focus, aiming to honor black historic sites. Her latest installation was at the site of Green's killing. It included photos of other black people who have been killed by police. Every place that I go to do an installation so far, I have met people who are tied closely with these stories. You know, as I'm doing this installation series, I'm also learning. Now, Wad's installations, they only last a couple of days. Her next one, the location for it, will be announced on Thursday. And of course, you should come downtown on the Juneteenth celebration here on Woodward to see this street mural. Once it's completed, Woodward will remain closed for the next couple of days in order for the work to be done. You can read much more about James and Wad's work on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live downtown, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.